Thank you. I'm Peter Bedenborek. I'm working in the Department of Food Safety and Zoonosis uh, in WHO at headquarters. Um, my background is in food safety and food technology and food science. Um, I have uh, 20 years of experience working in FAO and WHO on food safety aspects of uh, uh, different aspects of uh, food safety. In WHO, I have been in the past developing uh, the organization's um, risk assessment for microbiological hazards in food. It's a new program that started uh, 10, 15 years ago. And um, we have uh, developed a lot of new methodologies uh, with regards to how to make uh, quantitative risk assessments for uh, hazards in food. So very complex process that is somehow different than the risk assessment we're talking about today, which is rapid uh, risk assessment uh, during uh, events or emergencies. Currently, I'm uh, managing the InfoSan network in WHO. InfoSan is a network of all the national food safety authorities in the world. And we use this network to communicate rapidly and directly with national authorities in charge of managing food safety crisis, either when there is contaminated food circulating uh, in the international trade and that needs to be recalled from the market, or when you have outbreaks of foodborne disease uh, affecting multiple countries and there is a need for coordination, sharing of information, sharing of data, etc. I'm also managing the WHO task force on MERS. MERS is the Middle East respiratory disease affecting mostly uh, the Middle East. You have to be very open about uh, the limitations you may have. No country will have all the expertise needed uh, for managing all the food safety events. Do not be afraid of reaching out to others for the expertise you need because you won't have the expertise uh, in your group in 99% of the cases. Another important point is to be fast. Don't wait until you have all the uh, answers because by that time uh, the event will be over or it will have turned to a very bad one and you don't want to be dealing with that one. A third element is to be very open in terms of communicating what you know and what you don't know. The limitation and the uncertainty surrounding your risk assessment. A very good example uh, was in 2010 during the E. coli outbreak in Germany, where uh, the German authorities were a little bit too fast in coming out and linking uh, this outbreak with consumption of uh, cucumber coming from, uh, from Spain. And there was a need for coming out quickly and a lot of pressure to coming out quickly with uh, communication and information. Uh, but you have to be uh, aware that making the wrong link and the wrong conclusions can have uh, uh, very serious consequences. These are, I think, uh, some of the major uh, key messages to take home.